All right, so this is the point in the program that calls for, make that begs for a reality check. When we have to have an honest conversation and say, what are we doing? Because whatever it is, it is not working. There's a sense of entitlement in this country that I don't remember feeling or seeing before, where lawlessness tramples decency, where entitlement trumps just doing the right thing, where the police are demonized for doing a thankless job and ever increasingly a deadly one. The system feels broken. It seems so almost by design. Cops are hamstrung by endless rules created by bureaucrats, like the policies in Chicago that prevent officers from chasing suspects after minor traffic stops and they require an okay from a supervisor to perform basic street policing. How does that make sense? It doesn't. And if you pull out to a satellite view and you look down and you see and you hear the Biden administration, they pretend as though their soft on crime approach to managing this madness is somehow imaginary. Listen to Jen Psaki's mocking. So right now, just to give you a sense, so CNN, Pentagon, as many as 8,500 U.S. troops on heightened alert. Okay, true. Same on MSNBC. CNBC is doing their own thing about the market. And then on Fox is Janine Pirro talking about soft on crime consequences. I mean, what what does that even mean? Right. Um, So what does that even mean? Well, I'll tell you, we live in a culture where guns are the problem and not the people who pull the trigger. Where families like mine who proudly put up back the blue signs only to have them defaced. This is what a neighbor did to my family sign until we upgraded to a pretty big 60 pound metal one with full illumination. Is it really scandalous to stand up for the officers who put their lives on the line for us to keep us safe every day? I don't think so. We all need some common sense. Until next week, thanks for joining me. I'm Wendy Bell.